Thank you, Shane. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, Michael Bennett is my name. I'm from Enniscorthy, County Wexford. We are at the point of, in two weeks' time, digging foundations for 12 affordable passive houses. They are coming fully certified passive, BER of an A2. Um, the price he's mentioned, I was going to say it later on, uh, and that price includes everything. That's what the customer pays. You know, it, it includes all the contributions from for the council, uh, all the um, footpaths, green areas, shrubberies, dividing walls, um, outside work around the house. That's the full full price. And you know, if you lift three thirteen and a half percent out of that uh, for the government, you are now at the true price of uh, the passive house. These are three bedroom, uh, eleven hundred square feet houses. And as I said, they're spec houses, you know, uh, I didn't have a customer. I have three of them sold, which I will go into. I'd just like to roll back the clock a small bit to um, three or four months ago. And Mark Keenan of the Irish Independent Property, uh, he's the editor of the, of the property, page, or property magazine of a Friday, wrote an article um, about passive houses and he equated them to the top of the range Mercedes cars and certainly yes we have passive houses that are top of the range and quite a few of them over the years have been built and we have built some of them but as in Mercedes cars as A-class there's the smart car there's all the lower range as well and we have the very same in passive houses uh, he didn't say that part and I'm not condemning him I'm just making a point you know but uh, it was throwing a bit of a wrong slant on the on the passive houses a few weeks after that, Tom Parlin, who was the CIF um, CEO, was on radio with uh, Sean Whelan one morning, or Sean O'Rourke one morning, and he was on again about the Mercedes. He picked up where Mark had, had taken up. Now, again, as I said, I'm nothing against any of those people. I, I am a CIF member. I'm on the SPC in Wexford County Council uh, for Strategic Transportation and Water Services. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm in, full, in full support of the CIF. But Tom again, and I spoke to him about it, uh, gave a couple of things that weren't right. Um, he said you need photovoltaic on the, on the roofs of the houses. You do not. It's not, it's not a condition of planning for a passive house. Um, you needed water harvesting. No, you do in Dublin because most of the council and, and your councillors here will probably back me up on this. I've done some work in this area where it's conditioned in that you, you need uh, water harvesting. You know, and it's, it's sad, things like that uh, can give something a wrong slope, you know, and uh, as I said, I spoke to Mark and Tom about it. But back to, back to Enniscorthy and, and uh, what we're doing, as I said, um, I have I brought some brochures along and I've, you know, I, have, I haven't argued them out to, to everyone. Um, our our <coughs> three-bedroom semi-detached, um, are at 170,000. It's um, I know in Dublin figures it's it's not a lot. I was speaking with someone from AIB here lately, the mortgage guy, and he produced figures and he said your minimum price is 350,000. I said no, in Enniscorthy we're doing it for 170,000. Said you cannot do them. I said we can, but uh, as regards the word profit, profit in them is very very small, you know. And we have an accountant lady here who can work out the figures. Also, in a brochure, we've given, um, I've given a breakdown, and again, I've done this with the girls in the office who are in the mortgage market at the moment, and uh, I've done this three or four months ago, and I believe that our figures are a little bit on the high side. And again, I handed this to, to AIB, you know, and uh, it's of interest, it shows the savings, and, and you can go through it. Uh, as I said, our floor area is 1,100 square feet, they're two story, three bedrooms, semi detached, certified passive, BER of an A2, home bond guarantee scheme, um, the new home bond guarantee, the old home bond guarantee scheme. I know there was a lot of uh, uh, controversy about it and with Pyrite and uh, what went on in that market. They've relaunched, and I'm not uh, you know, uh, speaking for them, but in, in one hand, they are now backed by Alliance Insurance, and uh, the guarantee scheme not just covers structure, it covers piping, uh, underground, inside, it covers far more roofs, um, walls.
involved internally. You know, so there's, there's, it's basically a far better cover. Now again, it's more expensive, but that's on that's on the on the house as well. We're looking at heating the houses. We have um, we've no oil burner, we've no oil lorry, which you have to write the big cheque for. Uh, we've no stove, we've no chimney. These are some of the ways that we've gotten our price back down. Um, you know, and that's a huge thing to people looking at these houses. You're heating the house and heating the water, 200 euro per annum. With photovoltaic on the roof, it will contribute, not a lot, but about 200 of your ESP bill uh, per annum also. Any surplus uh, ESP that is generated goes back into the system. Uh, and as from the 1st of February last, um, that goes in free, the ESP just take it, which I think is sad. But I think there's moves afoot, um, some of the last here maybe I'm to back me up on it, uh, to change that around again. Over, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, in, <coughs> pardon? maybe in a little over a year, there's three consultations ahead on that. Yeah. There. You know, and I suppose you can do that if you're a monopoly, you know, if there's no one here from the ESB. But, um, you know, that's, that's where we're coming from. So the houses are affordable. Um, we, uh, I'll just give you a little bit of history, the first passive house I built was in 2007 in a place called Killan. You might remember Kelly the Boyd in Killan, down on the side of the Black Stairs Mountains. 1,300 square feet. And believe it or not, that was an affordable house. The people had a very low budget and uh, we got involved with them and built it. Uh, the Wexford County Council that came out and visited the house halfway through to look at the um, structure and see what we were doing. So, and we didn't look on it as being affordable, but at the time it was very, a very affordable house. Then we got into the bigger market, and now we're going back down into what I used to call, and I got into trouble over calling them, bog basic passive houses, you know. Tomás O'Leary doesn't like that expression, but uh, it can be done, at, uh, it's there. I think it's a no-brainer, to be quite honest about it. So basically that's it.